Hi, all. this is Param. Of course, in this playlist, we are seeing like what is the what is a script, what type of scripting language is supported in the Elasticsearch, okay, um, and uh, what are the different places we can use as uh, scripting, okay. So in this video, what I'm what I'm going to explain is what are the different use cases, okay, different use cases where we can use the plain script. Obviously, the thing is what is now whenever we have the uh, we, we, whenever we the given uh, feature or given syntax or given API is not sufficient for our use case, okay, then obviously we should go for scripting. That is a that is a primary uh, driving force, okay, to go for scripting, okay. In addition to that. Uh, in addition to that, scripting it's relatively may slow down. Okay, so to may slow down so to to make it is fast. What we can do to make it is fast. What we can do now we can cache in a script. Okay, so we can cache the cells uh, painless script. So once it is loaded in the memory uh, after compilation, so okay, that will be keep on reused. Okay, that is one options. Uh, so that is caching the uh, compiled uh, uh, compiled painless script. Okay, that is uh, one options. Uh, another one option is what is the use the parameterized. So use the parameterized um, uh, painless script. Okay, these two are the uh, features uh, to improve the performance perspective or uh, speed. Okay, so caching and the user perform uh, parameterized parameterized cell script so, para parameterized painless script. Okay, so uh, in addition to that, what are the other use cases? Okay, um, um, what are the other use cases? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what are the other use cases? Uh, that is what I'm. That is what main primary goal, uh, goal of this video. Okay, so here we can use the uh, painless script in the um, search API for a different purpose. Okay, so one thing for uh, in the search API is we can use a scripting field. So okay, so we if we want to uh, create a custom field among the many among many field, then we can use the uh, uh, script field in the search API. Similarly, in search API, we will we can use the scoring, okay, script score, okay. We can use the search API again. Uh, all these are search context only, okay. So these are the document scope I have explained already, okay. In the previous video itself, I, I explained what is that. I don't want to spend time on that. Then, in above all that, okay, in the, in the again the search context, we can use short, short um, uh, to short the documents, okay. Uh, of course, in the search context, we can we can have the short, short right. So it's array, right? So we can have that. We can uh, we can uh, we can have, uh, have that painless script to shorting the uh, documents. Okay, that that is another option. Okay, uh, then uh, of course the other uh, other use cases is uh, using the painless uh, pipelines. Okay, of course we have the pipelines there. Of course there are a number of processes already there. Still, if you want to execute with the painless script, then there is a script processor is there. Okay, using that you can uh, you can write your painless script whatever logic you want. That is that 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 available for the uh, pipeline, just the pipeline as well. So, okay. In above, uh, other than that, okay, we can extract the field as well. So, okay, we can extract the field from other field. That is the other use cases. Okay, field extractions. Okay, field extraction can be two types. Okay, it can be delimiter based or regular expression based. If it is regular expression based, we can use the crack pattern. We know very well, right? Crack patterns are predefined patterns. Okay, we can straight away use in our expression. Right, that is what crack patterns. Okay, we can use the crack pattern in either either one two places. Either we can again it's a, it's a, it's also in search context. Okay, it also search context. Okay, so similarly uh, this is search context, this is search context, this is search context. Okay, so okay uh, here I'll tell you some of the things. Okay, um, this is indexing context. In fact, our indexing context. Okay, you can say. Uh, okay, here in crack patterns we can write we can uh, we can write the crack patterns. Okay, inside the uh, painless script. Okay, inside the painless script. Okay, uh, so that can be in two places. Either we can use runtime mapping. Okay, in the search context. If you want to use a search context, I can use you know runtime API, right? And other other one is the field context. Uh, field context. What is now in this in in uh, in this uh, we will create a runtime field type. Okay, field uh, field is called run run uh, field. We will define the runtime field, right? Runtime mapping is different. Runtime field. So runtime field is in the mapping itself. Okay, in the ma in the mapping itself we will define in the mapping of document. Okay, we can we mostly we will update. Okay, as a result of the runtime field. Okay, uh, so in either case, uh, 
okay in either case syntax is same so case in syntax with respect to the painless script syntax is same so only the only the different places okay different places where we can put our pain, uh, where we can uh, use the uh, painless script to execute the clock patterns okay so <coughs> sorry okay so it can be runtime mappings or it can be a uh, runtime field so in either this is the mapping that i will show the demo okay by seeing that demo you will understand similar stuff okay with uh, if it is deal inter based okay so let's simple syntax is enough for me i don't want any i don't want to go for regular expression stuff okay i don't this is not that much big i want to only uh, the my of course the pattern is same the pattern is same for all the messages okay in the case okay it is not variable okay it is not variable then in the, in the case dissect is enough okay dissect pattern is enough Uh, because a regular expression engine is costly right uh, okay but it's good for complex logic complex parsing but the format of log is a 200% is same format of log each log message is same 200% is same. this if you have that confidence then we can uh, leverage the delimited pattern that is dissect okay dissect pattern so uh, here uh, similarly here also we can uh, we can uh, use the dissect pattern inside a painless script that painless script may be inside a part of the runtime mapping if it is for search context or it can be the mapping ma for the runtime field okay in the runtime uh, runtime field so that is what i want to explain okay so these are the different use cases um, available in the uh, ls uh, search but what they are saying is not only these places okay wherever you want you can try out okay wherever you want you can try out yourself script you can look for options okay to use the, uh, so to use the painless script so um, not only see what see we have explained almost 1 2 3 um, uh, let's say 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay it is not only these nine nine different use cases okay there are there are other places also you can use the uh, um, painless script that's what they are saying in the document okay so um, maybe in the future they may add uh, many things with respect to the uh, with respect to the different use case of or uh, different places where we can use the painless script okay thanks thanks for watching i hope you will enjoy this enjoy this video okay if you like the content please leave um, leave your comment subscribe my channel share with your friends thanks thanks for watching